they went to Mayugno is because Mayugno called Mawa to tell him that he got scammed. Hallelujah! <laughs> the scammer got scammed. How did the scammer get scammed? Yeah, yeah. 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 yes. Look what I said. You feel like this cover is sweet, yes. sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 This yeah. cover is sweet. Yeah. But in Lua, we call it Zangala. Yeah. Now you chew the top. I hear. Just chew, chew, chew fast. Okay. Then now that top will be. Yeah. Just slowly. Welcome and welcome back to my channel guys. This is Pebbles Chat. Thank you for always coming back. It's a party over here. If you are new, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It's always a fun over here. Please guys, smash the like button. Let's go. Smash that like button. Anyway. As you can tell guys, I am ready for some gym workout. Yes, I am. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. I am supposed to be meeting Jamaican uncle at the gym today. <laughs> he asked me to bring my pink ball. <laughs> we have an aerobics class with Richard Simmons. <laughs> if you don't know who Richard Simmons is, I will leave his picture right here. <laughs> Have you guys seen what Jamaican Uncle is wearing in Mauer's last video? Oh my God, Jamaican Uncle is wearing one of these <laughs> tank up. <laughs> Jamaican Uncle is wearing one of these tank top. Yes, that's what he's wearing. The only thing that is missing right now is Marwa's fanny pack. Marwa should have loaned him a fanny pack and give him a tights. Somebody couldn't, maybe Paris. He could fit into Paris tights. <laughs> Paris, Paris, why didn't you loan Jamaican uncle one of your tights? But Jamaican uncle is going through his midlife crisis. He is flexing his muscles. You can't tell him that he doesn't look good. Jamaican uncle, in his mind, thinks he looks like this. <laughs> and I don't blame him. I don't blame you, Jamaican uncle. You are fly, okay? Don't worry about what other people say about you. You are fly, sir. If you're interested in looking like a fly guy, like Jamaican uncle, and would like to purchase a dangarine t-shirt, marina, D's cover up. Please hit the link below in the description box. Thank you. So, Jamaican uncle Marwa and Rocio decided to visit their neighbor Mayugno and Nasto. And Marwa and Rocio were dressed to the T to walk through the bushes to go and visit Mayugno and Nasto. They looked better than they did when they went to that wedding recently in the village. Rocio wearing her pearls, her makeup is done, and Marwa looks like he's going to a business meeting in his business outfit, and even the dog walked behind them, the poor hungry, hungry dog, like he's following them to see if there's food at the next house that they are visiting. And Jamaican uncle, he is dressed in D's tank top, his jeans pants, and just yapping his mouth on his way there with the same story. I worship you, Marwa. I've been watching you for so long. And I can tell that Rosio is kind of tired of him because she's walking ahead of him because he doesn't know when to stop. Like, he is so obsessed that he doesn't know when to shut up. And in uh, one of his um, comments, Jamaican uncle comment section, someone said, and I had to laugh because I think it's one of you who watch us, 
who wrote this I didn't really look at the name I just read the comment but I laughed when I read it and the person said you idolize Marwat like a false god this is not healthy your whole attitude towards him is not healthy a lot of us that's watch the other reactors channels talk about how strange we find you you wasted thousands of gifts now they will always have their hands out begging from you there is something seriously wrong with how you are mesmerized by these simple cunning people yes that's what the person wrote and i was like oh my goodness that is too funny but it's true because this man would not shut up so anyway they got to mayugno's place and one of the reasons why they went to mayugno is because mayugno called mawa to tell him that he got scammed hallelujah <laughs> the scammer got scammed how did the scammer get scammed because a scammer is supposed to be extremely smart you shouldn't be able to get scammed by someone else red light should have gone off in your head so he called marwa because you know his english is not vegetable and he needs a big platform to put this out there and this is another tactic it is to put this out there in proper english so that subscribers can reimburse him for whatever money that he lost in this scam and did it work yes it worked and i will explain to you in a bit how it worked a lot of people are saying that they don't believe it what happened in this guys and if i say supplies all the time it's material it's building material building supplies building material scam was someone ordered supplies from him and told him that they would deposit a check into a, his account they asked for his account number he gave them his account number this person wrote a check say for example they wrote a check for four thousand dollars and deposited the money into the account but the supplies that this person purchased was for only two thousand dollars and then the person called back and say, hey, um, I, I deposited too much money into your account. I was supposed to only deposit $2,000, but I deposited $4,000. Can you send me $2,000 back? And so Mayugno went to the bank and sent $2,000. This is all within the same day of when the check was deposited. So Mayugno went to the bank or went to his account online, I don't know, and then sent this person $2,000 back. Now, later on, the guy tried to order more supplies, building supplies, of course, and did the same thing. And I think Mayugno, on his way to the bank, saw one of his friends or saw someone else and told them like, hey, this guy sent me a lot of money and I don't know him. And the guy said, which guy? And he started telling him. And he's like, no, it's a scam. And that's when it clicked in Mayugno's head that he is being scammed. So he ran to the bank as fast as he could, <laughs> huffing and puffing. And when the bank investigate, they said, yes, it's a fraudulent check. You just sent this person $2,000 of your own money and you're out of two thousand dollars there is nothing we can do we can't help you you should have waited until this check cleared he didn't wait until the check cleared guys checks usually take about two to three days to clear when someone deposits a check into your account the check says pending if you go to your account statement it will say pending okay for a little while and then after the check is cleared then that's when the money is deposited into your account but mayugno went to the bank the same day or he transferred this two thousand dollars back to the guy the same day and that's how he got scammed so it is a legit scam people are saying they don't believe and the reason they don't believe is because they don't think that someone can how can someone deposit a check and the check is fake people can create fake checks there are a number there are a number of ways and i can go into detail 
how they can do this, but I won't. I may probably do this in another video. But people make fake checks all the time, deposit it into your account, and then call you to tell you, I'm sorry, I just made a mistake. I deposited some money into your account. Can you please send me that money back? Uh, you not knowing that it is a scam, you just send them your money and then you're out of money. It's a scam. They get your money and the check is no good. So yes, guys, that is a form of legitimate scam. It was very interesting that this scammer got scammed. That village is going down. It's going down because there is too much nonsense going on in that village too much shady things and apparently the guy who scammed him when he went to the police station and they traced the number the phone number is um connected to someone that lives in the yabahanze village so it is someone who knows me you know? <laughs> they're all scamming each other they're all scamming each other in that village guys can you believe this this is crazy but it is not unbelievable to me because of all the crap that they're doing and all the money that is coming in and Jamaican uncle better watch himself because he's there telling everybody he's here for a month, how much money he has and what all he owns. And he doesn't know these people. He doesn't know what they're capable of. And what bothers me is that a man like him who said he left Jamaica for so long and he just made it seem like, yeah, I left Jamaica and I'm, you know, I don't care to go back. He would never go to Jamaica and be this way. He would never, never. People like him, they don't go to Jamaica and be this way. They go to Jamaica, they're scared, scared, scared to even take money out of their pocket. They don't trust their own people. But he is in the Yabahanze village just flashing dollars like a crazy person. Yeah, the fanatic Jamaican uncle. <laughs> but the scammer got scammed and I couldn't believe it. Did I laugh? Yeah, I laugh. Come for me if you want. I laughed. I don't care because they have been scamming old people out of money. So I do not care. I have no feelings for them if they get scammed. Come for me if you want because I don't care. But it is a legit scam and um, that type of scam is not only prevalent in Kenya or in Africa, it is prevalent all over the world. We get those scams here all the time. Every single day I receive a scam call. I don't pick up those calls. But what puzzled me, guys, what puzzled me is that Mayugno has supplies to sell people. Why is someone reaching out to Mayugno to buy supplies? Wasn't Mayugno complaining recently that he does not have money to finish his construction? How is it that Mayugno has 2,000 US dollars in his account to send to someone? 2,000 US dollars that is just sitting there in his account to just send to someone if he is broke because he's always complaining online how he is broke. Isn't that funny? That's why I say that he is a scammer. And I didn't know he has a shop. Guy, tell me if he has a shop that sells building supplies. Because I didn't know that Mayugno has a shop. Is it that he is getting donations to buy supplies to build his house? Or people are donating supplies to him? And then what he's doing is selling the supplies to get money and then cry poor mouth again on his videos to say he doesn't have money to finish his house and then people will someone else or other people will send more money to him to buy more supplies or donate more supplies to his house isn't that a form of scamming or does he legit have a storefront where he sells supplies let me know because i don't watch my you know that often to know these things but in my head, I'm like thinking, you know how we think over here in the reaction group. <laughs> you know how we think. I'm just thinking that's what he's doing. And that is scamming. So the scammer got scammed. <laughs> and yeah, so I'm pretty sure that someone will reimburse him his 2,000 US dollars. And before you know it, 
after that story was told and he gave Jamaican uncle a tour of his castle one of his house and the next one that is he's building and both of these houses are not finished and I can't understand for the life of me why didn't he finish one house first move into it and then finish the second one the greed won't allow him to do that he is building both homes together and I thought this Mama Grace house I thought Mama Grace was his mother so I thought he was saying this is my mother house all the time little did I know that Mama Grace is some big donor who is you know he named this house after her or whatever allegedly I don't know if this is true but allegedly on the streets it is said that this is someone who he named the house after her so she could send big donations he could make her feel good and when you know these old people feel good they feel free to do donate more allegedly i don't know if this is a true story and this is why i'm saying this so yeah and he you know he went on and on about how he wants a swimming pool in the front there and water fountain and a jacuzzi guys is is running water in that village where mayugno live because i saw a big black tank so, so. and there is nothing wrong in dreaming okay and you have to dream dream high dream high nothing wrong with that but like are these like necessary things that someone needs in a village like that i, I don't know guys correct me if i'm wrong here or um reaching too far but these things are not necessary in a village like that there's no running water why does he need a pool and a jacuzzi and a water fountain or perhaps the village will become more developed and they will get running water at some point let me think outside the box and let me think in the future so um by the time jamaican uncle was ready to leave jamaican uncle you know after marwa walked away jamaican uncle said to him don't worry um, give me your information I'm gonna take care of you I'm gonna help you I'm gonna take care of you don't worry don't worry about anything don't worry about anything I, I like you a lot I like you a whole lot I'm gonna help you I was not bad but I paid, I paid, I paid, something else. No problem. I paid no problem. Sony help me so much thank you for yeah, that I want to do something else because I have to get your information thank you and I work on it thank you I'm gonna be here for about a month thank you. even today mm -hmm. I'm coming there if yeah, man. Dinner. Yeah, man. yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. No, People like you? Yeah. That's who thank, I want to help. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, I'll tell you, my YouTube channel? Yeah. Tend to do mostly of that. Hey, it's going speedy. Yeah. <laughs> my money. This is a bless. My money is going to help people. Because, and it's not so well, I need, uh, I don't really need the money. Because I have my house. Yeah. It's in Georgia, I have the house there. Yeah. And I have a house in Jamaica but jamaican uncle did not say this in front of marwa because remember jamaican uncle is marwa's big donor so that can cause issues between mayugno and marwa because if jamaican uncle starts to build house for mayugno now marwa probably won't get what he is supposed to get no this is crazy and jamaican uncle wouldn't shut up like he was just there he reminds me of People who needs to be the topper. If you say A, they have to say B, 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 but that's that's Jamaicans. I, I, I may as well tell you. <laughs> that's, that's how some of us are. But he is excessive, okay? He is excessive. He doesn't know when to shut his trap. He goes on and on and on and on and on, nonstop. Then they went over to Nasto's. And of course, Nasto has a nice house, clean inside, nice kitchen. Everything is modern, OMG, open concept kitchen. Yes, guys, we over here know what an open concept kitchen is. And I thought to myself, like, what goes through Rocio's mind when she sees, you know, the smaller YouTubers with a such nice, cozy, comfortable house, modern kitchen or at least a kitchen even if it's not modern you know um new furnitures nice bed clean everything is just sparkling sparkling and shining i wonder what her, th her thoughts are like her man doesn't care to even have a kitchen because he is too cheap and he thinks that 
what they quote him for a kitchen is too expensive. I would be so, so embarrassed because that house has been there for a while with no kitchen. It's just a big empty museum. She should be embarrassed of herself as well because as a woman of the house, she should say to him, listen, we can't live here without having a kitchen. But remember, she doesn't cook. She doesn't know how to cook. So she could care less about a kitchen right now, right? Wow. Unbelievable. Yes. And he showed them his bedroom and everything in his house was donated, according to Nasto. People donate these things to him. He has nothing to worry about. And then Nasto said, I am going to build a second house. Guys, for the life of me, why are these people building so many homes on one compound? What is the reason? Please explain to me. Is this an investment? Is it a good investment in a village like that? I don't think so. Is it out of greed? Is it because they're getting the free money like this? For example, Nasto has received everything free. Nasto never worked a day in his life. YouTube is not pulling in that much money to build a house. It is not. Or so many different houses. And buy so many expensive furnitures to furnish it. I don't think it is. Especially for him. For a bigger YouTuber, yeah. But no, not for Nasto. He did admit that his bed was donated. He has a king-size bed. His kitchen, his entire kitchen was donated. Brand new stove, nice stove, stainless steel, everything was donated. These people, they don't have to work hard a day in their life. All they have to do is just pretend, you know, pretend, 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 pretend to be poor, pretend that they can't do any better you know, talk to a few people, sweet up their heads, make them feel special, and voila, they get what they want. I hope that one day I reach to that level. <laughs> I need to reach to their level. I need the master playbook because there is a master playbook in that village, guys. Every scamming com community or every scammer has a master playbook. And their form of scamming is different from other form of scamming. There is a whole lot of scamming going on, right? And there are different types, but they all have one thing in common, a master playbook. And these boys in this village, they have this master playbook, okay? Because they all use it. You can see it. It's all similar. That was a joke on Mayugno and the scamming and stuff. And I will go deeper into scamming and what's happening in the village and different types of scamming because apparently there are a lot of people out there who doesn't know that you can get scammed by someone depositing a check into your account and then scam you. We get these scam calls daily here. I just received about five for the day already, so... You know, you have to be on your P's and Q's. You have to be extremely vigilant. You have to think quickly on your feet. Don't give out your personal information over the phone to anyone. Even if they say, I am calling from the bank. I need your social security number. Do not give it to them. If someone calls you from the IRS and ask for your social security number on the phone, don't do that. The IRS does not call you out of the blue unless you call them and ask them to return your call or leave a message. And before they ask you for information, they will ask you certain questions like to have a look at your tax return, give them a certain number from page one or page two of your tax return. They will ask for your address, your date of birth, that, that kind of thing. But do not give out personal information over the phone, especially your bank account number to anyone. 
do not withdraw money from your account to send to anyone even if they tell you that you just won the lottery and you need to send them money to process this winnings or whatever the case may be a lot of people get scammed like that I, I know a lot of people who got scammed like that and it's mostly greedy people too who get scammed like that you trust me I could never get scammed like that never and yeah so you know there are a whole lot of ways that people can get scammed and you know I, like I said I will go deeper into scamming and some of the ways that people can get scammed especially now that it is tax time and there are a lot of scamming going around so that's what i wanted to talk about today guys and hey let's congratulate d <laughs> let's congratulate d mwango she got her visa to go to to the uk and she was so excited and i'm like you know it is sad that there are so many people in this world who can get those visa easily and they don't care about it. They don't care about things like that. For example, I didn't know that a lot of Americans don't even have passports until I came here to live. Grown Americans, no passport. Yes, they don't care about traveling to other places around the world. And some of them just got their passport when they became adults. But us from the Caribbean or from the islands or, or from other countries, from we are born. <laughs> the minute we're eligible to get a passport, I'm telling you, boom, we have our passport. Even if we're not traveling. I had my passport when I was a little girl in Jamaica and I had no idea that I was going to travel to go live somewhere else in the world. But your parents or your family make sure that you have a passport because if you have to travel you have your passport and your visa or whatever but some countries it's extremely difficult to get visas to go to these other countries and places like america americans a lot of them they don't care that's why they don't get a passport they don't care to get a visa to travel to these other countries maybe because they're hated in a lot of the other countries maybe that's why but yeah she was so excited and i'm like oh wow when she kept saying it's her dream country, I thought she was coming to America. But apparently, American visa is more difficult to achieve than getting a UK visa. Because if she could have gotten a US visa, she would have been in America. That's her goal. And I think now that she has a UK visa, she will be able to get an American visa soon. Let's congratulate D Mwango, who is now flying business class everywhere. And she thinks business class is the ish. <laughs> She thinks there's nothing like business class until British Airways surprised her because their their uh, business class looked just like economy. <laughs> there was no special treatment in that business class. Now she will realize that business class and first class is not like what it was back in the day. And only certain airline will give you that special treatment, not all the airlines. So you have to pick and choose which airline, hey, if I'm going to get special treatment, maybe I should upgrade. But if not, what is the sense and what's the use? It's a waste of money. <laughs> she will realize it soon enough, okay? She will realize it soon enough. <laughs> now, if you fly on Emirates or one of those airlines and they treat you like a queen, if you're in business class or first class, that's a different story. But British Airways, they hardly want to give you water to drink. Back in the day, British Airways was the top airline. Now, these airlines, they don't care. And I don't care. I just want to get where I'm going and get back. And in fact, D next week, I will be joining D. Stay tuned. I will be joining D. <laughs> oh, and then D met up with Kino's sister in the UK. And... I should have known that was Kino's sister was one of the moderators in her on her channel because this one person sometimes if I used to say stuff like oh D, uh, Kino is married and Kino this oh she would come at me she would come at me I think it's her yep I think that's his sister she would come oh Kino is not married really yada yada yep 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 so she finally met um 
her man's sister in the UK. You go, D. She is living her life. Go, girl. <laughs> go, girl. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Go, girl. Go, girl. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. <laughs> Thank you for coming guys and thank you for always listening to me. It is a pleasure having you here. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.